Well, what's up, race fans? Mike here. I've got an impromptu garage area video for you. It's also a bit of a rant video. Because I just watched the last stages of the Indy 500, and I am thoroughly peeved off at what just happened. So, with five to go, we had a big wreck. And debris everywhere, entrance to pit road damage. And instead of doing what they should have done, what they did just peeved me off to no end. And, well, you're going to want to see and hear this. Footage courtesy of NBC and IndyCar, by the way. Now, you heard what I think it was Townsend Bell. Yeah, it was Townsend Bell. You heard what Townsend Bell said. This should have caused a red flag. A lot of damage to the 45 Spencer Pickett. Pit and attenuate, entrance to pit road, destroyed. Debris everywhere. Watch what happens. That was the worst case scenario right there. Hits the entrance of pit row, scatters debris everywhere. Under normal circumstances, actually under any circumstances, this should have caused a red flag. I would have red flagged this race right away. Heck, if this were NASCAR, they would have thrown out the red flag. But. They did not red flag the race. Instead, they let the final five laps tick by under the freaking yellow flag. I do not get IndyCar's reasoning for this. I really don't. And, oh my god. Whoever is in charge of IndyCar after this fiasco should be fired. Any car needs some serious reform after this race. They need to put in some sort of rule akin to NASCAR's green-white checker rule. And I've been saying it since Tony Kanaan won his Indy 500 under caution. They need a green-white checker rule. They need some way to ensure a green flag finish to their races. 
I'm just shocked, dismayed, and totally peeved off at what has happened in today's Indianapolis 500. We waited three months for this? I... I don't get it. I really don't get it. I know that David Land, a fellow motorsports YouTuber, is going to remount IndyCar for this. Congrats to Takuma Sato, by the way, for winning his second 500. Let's watch the rest of this replay. I cannot believe that just freaking happened. I mean, I'm sorry. Andy Carr, you're better than this. You really are better than this. And I'll be surprised if I watch another Indy 500 after what has gone down here today. I'm going to try and be back at you with another garage area video after the Daytona season finale for NASCAR, regular season finale, and go over my picks for the chase then. I need some time to recover from this. Till then, Michael, signing off. See you next time, race fans.